What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Photos Go video. This channel is where we discuss and learn new skills around the topics of design and development. If you want to grow your skills and learn new things that are coming up, please subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to smash the like button for me. This really helps me create more content. In this video, we'll be learning about how we can generate images using OpenAI. As you may have already uh, known about the famous chat GPT, which is uh, trained to have a conversational chat with the users, which is also a product from OpenAI as well. But in this video, we are focusing on ourselves on generating images will uh, with something called DAL E2 and it's a new uh, AI system that helps us to create realistic images and art from description in natural languages. The images that are created are from scratch and it's totally original images all generated using AI. Let's take into a look into the application that we are building. So this is a, just a simple application that we are building. We have just used Next13 uh, with TypeScript for this project. And as you can see here, we have a heading which says AI image generation in OpenAI. And here we can search some images and uh, generate it using OpenAI. And let's uh, type in something here. Well, let's call it happy dog. I click on uh, the button and it uh, tells us loading. And hence uh, we see some um, like dog photos here which is a happy dog which is great um this is awesome so this is pretty much the application that we are building we can search even more like um jellyfish or something like that and uh, click on the generate image button and we can see loading and it's um, fetching behind the scenes and we can see our images right there so uh, this is uh, the simple application that we are building so let's get started so before we continue, uh, first of all, you need to have an account in OpenAI. If you don't have one, create one and you should see something like this. And you should uh, first create an um, API keys to get started interacting with the OpenAI APIs. And um, first we can see um, here, create a new secret key, create a one for yourself and uh, we will now continue with our application and uh, with other uh, clarification that we have currently uh, it's uh, not really uh, latest totally uh, updated version of next but uh, you can see we have some uh, something called here um, which we have the HTTP uh, methods um, that's um, uh, attached to the functions route handlers but uh, this is uh, um, we are using a different a little bit older version of next not a burning updated version of next so uh, let's go into um, the code base uh, i will take you uh, i will run you down through the code base um, and that would be um, awesome and first of all i have the api keys i will obviously delete it so um, i'm not exposing i will delete it obviously place it in your dot and file and also uh, we need a, a packages so I have installed just one package I kept it kept it lean uh, it's OpenAI and um, you can also install the app package from npmi OpenAI so um, we have um, uh, not uh, really taken down into uh, folder structures but we have um, page.tsx which is the front end side of things but uh, let's start with the um, little bit API generation side of things first so uh, first things first we have um, imported the type a uh, next API request and re next API response from next uh, that helps us to uh, uh, like um, add some uh, type to our application and um, we have um, typed our response data which will be an url it can be string and first initially it can be undefined and uh, the request that we are sending uh, through the open api a generate uh, request which extends from a uh, next api request we uh, import it up here and it's a body uh, where our request um, will be sent um, through a prompt which is a string and n is a number and a size is string so uh, this is uh, something taken from open ai documentation so let's go to the documentation and go to documentation and where we have the image generation and as you can see here we have like node.js selected and the response uh, is a, a way to open ai dot create image and these are the three um, properties that we have it's the same uh, that we are replicating something like this an image url will be um, response data data uh, the first item in the uh, data and dot url 
uh, it would uh, generate an image. So let's go back. This uh, structure is the same that we, we saw just right now. And um, the another thing is the configuration of the Open API keys, um, where we create a constant, which is uh, the new configuration imported from the configuration from Open AI, and um, we just added uh, API key. Uh, as a key and passed it down open a API key and uh, we have here is open AI and we um, called open AI and passed down the configuration now uh, what we have here is our main function and um, which is receiving uh, the request and response as typed before which is we just added an interface that it would receive some uh, request like this uh, shape of data and uh, we have um, this function and also response, uh, which is something of response data. And um, we created constant uh, where we access the request body dot prompt because we are just um, passing down prompt, uh, not um, else uh, like the number of images n and also the size. But um, you can also obviously pass down uh, n and size as well if you need to down here. But um, we are sticking with just the prompt string for now. If there is no prompt string passed in or it's undefined, then we would re return a response of new prompt. Or else we have um, we have the situation where we created AI response of uh, this, and uh, that would just spit out our data of URL that we are accessing from the open AI um, so which would be like as a status of 200 and it's JSON URL and the image URL is right here and if we take a look at the front end side of things we have um, use client imported for next 13 because this is just using um, just client side side of things and we have the main function where we added some couple of states in uh, to react use state hook uh, we have the search file set search file uh, the value that the search bar is holding uh, we can see we have the search bar the button the image and the heading uh, that's simple as it and we have the set, uh, loading and set loading so that we could make the track of the api calls um, the new promise that has been generated behind the scenes and also uh, we have the image and set image where we will be setting down uh, the image URL response from the open a open ai api and also we have the main function which is generate image which is a promise and uh, it's typed as any for now and um, if uh, there is no search file then we should return uh, from this function because um, uh, users uh, just can't just don't type and generate image that's not um, totally right so uh, first uh, when generating image we set the loading to true uh, initially the loading is false and we set the loading to true and we um, created a fetch handler where we uh, the method is paused and the header uh, is content type um, of application json and we are um, like parsing it out json.stringify and the prompt is search file uh, which is uh, the state variable right here which users typed in and this is the prompt where we'll be just adding the prompt and else um, other stuffs are right in here other stuffs are just hard-coded but you do you could pass it um, the n and size uh, right in there as well and later we just um, uh, waited for response position uh, to be ready and we set the image to the data URL that we received and um, we will uh, set the search file to be empty array, I mean empty string, because after the search is done, this should be cleared out. So and that's uh, basically we, what we are doing and setting the loading to false uh, so that the button wouldn't uh, be in a loading state. So we here we have the button. When user uh, clicks on the generate image, uh, it would uh, invoke this particular function and we add this particular um, state um, va value that we have in a search val to our prompt. So uh, basically that's it, uh, what we are doing. So um, I hope we have achieved something like this and this would help us to create more realistic images. So let's hit on cow and generate image. It also 
generate image of a cow that's it guys so i hope learn you learned something new from this um in this video we learned about how we can generate images on the fly using open ai if you want to learn more about around the topics of design and development please subscribe for more videos just like this don't forget to smash the like button for me this really helps me to create more content thanks a lot guys see you in the next one